Adobe Sign Web Forms allows you to create publicly facing forms that anyone is able to visit, fill out and sign simply by visiting a URL that is provided to you. Adobe Sign's web forms are great for IT policy acceptance, perhaps employee onboarding forms that you can send out to successful candidates. Pretty much any kind of customer facing data capture process is able to be taken care of using Adobe Sign web forms. Let's now take a look at one in action. So here you can see I have the example of the HMRC starter checklist, which I've created into an Adobe Sign web form. We've been provided a URL and we've also been provided embed code as well. If we wanted to bake this form into your website, let's take this URL and visit it now. And you can see the form renders on the screen. We have 16 required fields in order to get this form completed. Let's very quickly go through and complete the form. You can see I have an example of some radio buttons now, so I'm going to be choosing option A is the one that applies to me. And this web form also makes use of some dynamic data uh, showing and hiding some, uh, so, so, some form fields based on the options that we choose in question number nine here. So if I choose yes to having a, an unpaid student loan, questions 10, 11 and 12 appear for me. If I change my mind back to no again, I'm going to have that section disappear as well because it's simply not relevant to me. Also going to answer no as well to option 13. And if I was to change that to yes, we do have 14 and 15 that appear, but again, not relevant to me. So let's press no. OK, so I'm going to click to sign now using Adobe Sign. When we use web forms, we have two options available to us. I'm going to type in John Smythe's name here so that he can sign this document. We can also sign using John's uh, real signature, perhaps using a, a mouse or the trackpad on this laptop here. Or if we were on a mobile device, we will get the option to use the finger on the touch screen to be able to sign. Let's press apply. And we're now ready to submit this document. All of the form fields that have been set as mandatory are completed. Clicking on the blue button will ask us to finally enter in our email address and then we can now get this submitted off. So our web form has now been signed and filled out. So let's now have a look at some of the emails that we will receive once we've completed this form. So John Smythe, our signer for the form, he receives a copy of what it is that he signed. So uh, attached to this, we have a, a PDF copy of what he signed. And Myself, back now as Steve Walker, I have the option to receive this as a, a notification to tell me that it has actually been completed. And if we did need to CC another team in as well, perhaps to say that this has been filled out, we can also have Adobe Sign do that for us as well. Let's have a look at the attachment uh, that's been uh, appended to this email. Opening up our submission, here we are inside of Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. You can see all of the form fields that were presented to John have been filled out. You can see Adobe Sign has respected the spacing as well inside of the boxes that HMRC have put forward here for the employment start date and the date of birth. It's all looking very nice. We've got nice check boxes here to signify the options that John picked throughout his process. And John's signature is in place here as well. But with Adobe Sign Web Forms, we do also provide the Adobe Sign Audit Report. And this details all of the events that took place when we went through and, uh, and had John complete this agreement as well here. We can create an Adobe Sign Web Form by choosing the Publish a Web Form option on the home page with inside of the web portal. We need to give our web form a name. So let's call this the HMRC New Starter Form. Next, we need to choose the role that our web form participant will be partaking in. They're largely cosmetic, so I'm just going to choose form filler here because they will be filling a form. It's not going to change the experience in any way for them at all. Then we're going to choose the authentication option. If we wanted to lock this form down behind a password, perhaps we could choose that from the option, but uh, I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to keep it as no authentication. 
we've got the option to add in any counter signatories that are required. We can add in as many as we need here. And we also have the capability to add in a CC as well. So once this form has been submitted, the email address that we put into the CC field here will be notified that this submission has come through of the, the new starter form. I'm going to add our files. So I'm going to click on choose files from this computer and I'm going to quickly grab the HMRC new starter PDF that I have here. I'm going to preview it one final time just before we get this created. So I make sure this box is checked and press the blue next button. Adobe Signs preview screen shows for us and you can see there are some form fields that I have added offline in Adobe Acrobat's for uh, create form capability. But just to show you how easy it is to add form fields here, I have left out the signature box, but uh, if we needed to add that in, it's really simple to just grab a signature box in Adobe Sign, resize it using the handles, and that is now complete. Let's press the blue save button. And it's as simple as that. Our new web form is now ready to use. Adobe Sign has given us the URL that we can send out to participants uh, via an email or has given us uh, an HTML iframe embed code here that we can use to embed this form inside of your intranet perhaps. Uh, we can then send this out to, to, to internal employees perhaps uh, and all the filling and signing can take place on your website using this iframe here. Thank you very much for watching.